So many weekends. I have to build my cabinet. My, my cabinet, cabinet, as you would say. Aren't they just shelves? No, it's a cabinet. A cabinet implies a door. A shelf implies no walls. No, it doesn't. Like a bookshelf has walls. Yeah, that's a bookshelf. A shelf alone implies a thing that stands alone on the wall. I don't think no... it implies that. Okay. Look at an Ikea calyx. Would you call it a cabinet or a shelf? What would you call it? A cabinet. I would not call it a cabinet. What's... So you think a cabinet implies doors? I think a cabinet does imply... Look, a calyx shelf unit. It's Go called a shelf Webster. unit. It's Merriam-Webster or bust. What? Define shelf. It's a shelving unit. I agree with Stuart. A shelving unit is different than a shelf. Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> The weekend. <laughs> Look, another mox jet. We just drafted a mox jet. You ever had two mox jets? Wait, I at the pack yet. I forgot she was here. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> I said it because it was funny. Here, you want me to scratch your little head? She really likes it. I guess, I guess we, we won't, won't take Gideon, Gideon Jura. Married life encapsulated. Boy. We're definitely not first picking a Gideon over a. I know that you're not. Uh, give, give me your back, back scratcher. scratcher. Thank you. Continue, Continue on with your. I have three of them. If you want one. No, no, no. I don't want one. I, I just want one right now, now in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're gonna be like, "Wow, this is convenient." What if I want to scratch my back at a different point in time? I would never. Never want to do that. <laughs> All right, so we got a mox jet. That's bad. I kind of like underground river here. <laughs> River? Uh, sea, shit. <laughs> I get underground river and underground sea confused way more than I should. Wait, what's underground river? It's the blue black land that you tap it to, it deals you damage when you tap it. Oh, but that's just bad. It's a paint land. I mean, it's good. No, I mean, it's bad compared to sea. Top and wasteland in the same pack. You must be so. Dis I'm sad that I can't take them both and give them love equally. Man, but if you pass wasteland, then somebody else is going to play it again. I really appreciate Stuart because I think he doesn't play a ton of magic. But he still knows my magic tendencies and preferences really, really well. Yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm going to take Underground Sea. It came as a three pack. Oh, we can take Bayou or Tropical Island? Mm -hmm. Why do you have three? Yeah, it came as a, it got it from Amazon. It was like six bucks and there were three of them in there, so. I'm itching all parts. They're not even, even itchy. itchy. How many, how many, I, I use them on my back significantly less than just like. It's, I do. I, I actually, I comb my beard with it more than I do anything else because it's unruly. Over the bayou, huh? Yeah. That's blue better. Hmm. Fascinating. What if the bayou comes back? Wouldn't that be cool? All right. So now we're in Saltai. We're squarely in Saltai. Kin and Bonder is interesting. Bond, I also, I call him Kin and Bonder all the time. Like that's his name. But he's really a bonder prodigy. Yeah, what the hell is that? There's a comma. Like bondman? <laughs> yeah. He's a he's a bail bonder prodigy. So whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, one add one mana of any type that permanent produce. So you can actually make double with the mox jet, which is kind of cool. It also might just be pest infestation, because that card's kind of obnoxious. And I bet this guy comes back. Maybe he doesn't. I'll take the infestation. I concur. Do you know what this does? Yeah. Really? It makes the creatures. It does make the creatures, and it destroys the enchantments and the artifacts. Is it just Big Fat Wormy, or is it Waterlogged Grove? Mm. My wife... I don't love it. It lets your, your lands tap for any color. Up to one land becomes a 3-3 three, three elemental with vigilance, hexproof, and haste, but it doesn't untap a land, so it has to be an untapped land. And then you mill three cards, you may put a permanent card from among those milled into your hand. This is boring. Move on. <laughs> wait, wait. Just kiss his little doggy. Multiple things, things are, are selected. selected. Yeah, this is auto-selected. Yeah, it does that a lot. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I just didn't want you to pop Oh, God. Up. Uh, I guess it's Worm Coil here. I think that's fine. Hmm. Fascinating. Nothing I really care about here. My maiden name is Neil, and that is also still my doctor name. Yeah, she did this thing that doctors tend to do where, like, they'll keep their 
their maiden name as their doctor name. And then it changed legally everywhere else. Yeah. You could have fooled me. <laughs> it's a lot of effort. It is. It's a, I like it's you know when you go through the hassle of changing your mailing address when you move? Yeah, it's like it's like that times ten. Because you have to, yeah. They don't just like accept it. You have to like prove it. These, yeah, it's so stupid. You're like, oh no, I'm gonna take this world spine worm. I don't know why. I don't care about noxious or Kogla, but this could be cool combo thing. I like cool combo thing. Look, you like Grave Daddy? Yeah. Is this in your way? Uh, no. I'm Those cards are too small down there for me to read, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can just make them bigger. You know, we can just look at this. Whoop. I like subtle tea. I like gravy tea, but I'd like a card that costs less than six. I dislike the word maiden. I agree. It feels very antiquated. I think Grave Titan might be the pick here anyway. God, they're really not they're really not supporting no, this this, really this strategy that I've tried to go with. Which was dictated by these first few cards. What if I don't care about green and I'm just blue black? Does that what if we're Esper here? Let's take a talisman and figure maybe an Esper is a thing. Well, we could go I, I was gonna take Shark Typhoon. I knew you were. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Because, because you love that card and you've drafted it like twenty five hundred times. I think you've just made that up. Snap. My wife like went to change her passport, realized the effort, and then just gave up and never changed her name. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I'm at this weird point where I did, did my driver's, driver's license, license, which I thought, I thought was going to be the biggest system. hurdle. And now, you know, I'm half and half, and it's not good. None of these cards are any good. Jitse's fine, I guess. Jeez. This pack was rough. I don't know if anything here is is gonna be this is this is a rough I'm start. Sorry, I helped you draft. But you didn't you didn't you, you weren't blame it on me. You weren't responsible for any of these picks. Literally none of this is your fault. <laughs> yeah, I, it's it, it's rewarding, isn't it? Transition to mono red goblins, please. I don't know if there's enough. You can. I think you can transition to mono red, but mono red goblins. I can't imagine if my wife wanted to change her name after getting me with publications and stuff. Yeah. So the That's only the reason thing. I considered changing my doctor name is there is another doctor, Catherine Neal, spelled exactly That's the same weird. as me, who is a second year surgery resident in Missouri. And she has publications, and our like publication name is the exact same. So it's just kind of weird. <laughs> I thought about reaching out to her and be like, hey, Change your name. You're just like me. Is she older than you? Uh, no, I looked her up. She looks about the same. You guys really need to go down to the month then. The month and the date. I mean, I don't know what year her birthday was, but she doesn't look old. She looks as aged as myself. You be Katie 1 and she'll be Katie A. <laughs> My middle name is A. Oh, so she'll be KDA. So it's, yeah, it still doesn't work. There's a male urologist in Austin named Dr. Richard Job. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's so bad. I guess it's Grim Monolith here. I guess, yeah, we got a bunch of expensive. Sh what? We're going to say Dark Slick Shores? Oh, over the Grim Monolith. It will, it will probably wheel. It's a C chrome, so you might get one of those two back. There was a dentist in Florida that I drove past a lot, and his name was Dr. Kruger. And I was like, you know what? I feel like I have a real hard time going to a dentist with the name Kruger. One of the girls in my that school class, her last name was Good Enough. But she was just Dr. Good Enough. <laughs> See, I wonder if that's a name you would change if you got married. You're like, I don't want to yeah, be. She personally kept it when she got married. She got married fourth year. That's funny. Is is she client facing? Yeah. Fast. Everybody in my class is client facing except for me. And oh, you're talking about your veterinary school class. Yeah. Got it. Got it. 
This card has been very, very good. I'm not going to take a triple blue spell as much as I would want to. I don't know, but maybe it's this Rafine's Tower, which has three of the colors. It's a try land. I think we want to focus on our time warp. Oh yeah, I do like time warp. I think there's a lot that can come back here. I just want to focus on mana though, because we're kind of all over the place. Maybe we're not though. Maybe we're just blue black. Yeah, I think you need to take cards that actually do something because our deck does nothing. Okay, you're just being really rude right now. No, I'm being the voice of reason. I want to take this Palantir because I think it's very, very good. Okay, looks like it has too many words for me to care what it does. It has a lot of words. Oh, we're taking Archon of Cruelty. How are we going to cast any of these? I use my Talisman and my Grim Monolith. There's also Primeval. <laughs> I don't think they can. Actually, I don't even think they could hear you there. That's interesting. Hello? Oh, Call of the Ring. That's a good one again. What did you get excited about? My boy. Oh, I see. My brand. My brand. He is my brand. Also calling. Can you talk again? Hello? Yeah, for some reason your mic is not working. Did you press something? I didn't touch it. Because usually I do touch it and then I mess it up. Where is the mic? Weird. Can you guys hear Katie? No, right? Hello? Look how small my little, my little boobers. Is in my head now. For some reason you really have to talk into it and I don't know what's causing that. I'm going to take Colonnade. I think it's the best card in this pack. I don't feel like... Oh, wow. That's a late mana drain. Wow. Also, Fractured Identities in this pack. Good grief. I mean, mana drain. We got Archon and a bunch of expensive stuff. That's actually really good. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's good. Treachery. All right. They're just giving us the good stuff now. Well, now we're in it. Now our deck just got really good in like... For what? You didn't do anything. What do you want? Do you comb other people's hair in the game? No, I rake my crops. I feel like you like games where you just do mundane tasks around houses. Yes. Like, what was the other game? Animal Crossing? Accomplished. Whereas games like Zelda, like Legend of Zelda. It's pronounced Zorlda. Zorlda. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere because the game is so long. Like, I need some kind of instant gratification because I don't have that much time to pour into games. I think I'm taking Gear Hulk here. We already have Mana Drain, and if we can get anything, like, better than that, that's cool. Maybe that Finkerton will come back. It actually feels kind of good. I like this. Give it a little... Wally likes being scratched behind his ears, too. What are you feeling like for dinner? I want a big, juicy... Burger. Okay, I like Palace Chiller, but I don't think we're a Palace Chiller deck. And also it's double white. Factor Fiction. Well, we have Torrential... You said what? Factor Fiction. Yeah, I think that's the correct play, especially with Torrential Gear Hulk. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your microphone. It's really... I'm really distressed about it. I have to look into it. Can we look into it after dinner? Well, yeah, I'm not going to look into it like as soon as I'm done and then... Okay, because Mama's going to be hungry. Where can we get a good burgle? Good. Juicy. I don't want to go to the Dirty Red Robin. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to make you go to the Dirty Red Robin, babe, okay? I do like the Dirty Red Robin, though. I can't look up places. We could go to a new place. I'm avoiding double white cards. I had an impossible opera. Dude, the impossible opera still hits. Let's just go to Burger King. Yeah, I still like, I, I still really enjoy the, the, the impossible opera. I think it's just fantastic. Stuffed Ten. burger. We haven't been there. Why did you laugh at 210? Because I like, I was going to say, can somebody 
look up burger places in Fort Collins. Stuffed burger. I don't think we've ever been here. If they're not on DoorDash, I feel like we've really um, not explored them enough, you know? You can play anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Think about it. Pack two, right? Yeah, we still got a whole other oh, pack. Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Did you just hit? What did you do? Nothing. I don't believe you. You definitely did something. You little rascal. Driving. Custody lich. Look how fancy he's spelled. That's like a that's like a 2015 baby name. What are you talking about? Custody lich. Wait, what's what's a 2015 baby name? Yeah, people are like Kaylee, and it's like 25 letters long. That's my daughter, Custody. <laughs> just has an I instead of a Y. That's all. Uh, I kind of like Custody Lich here, actually. I like Rona as well, but we don't have anything to reanimate. We don't have reanimation cards, but maybe that's still correct. Yeah, let's go with Rona and hope that Custody Lich comes back. Because if we can get like... A reanimate spell or two. I feel like we're in. I like the Scarab God. That's kind of like a reanimate spell. I'm glad you're carrying us. Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph? For sure. Carrying us? I've lost interest. Okay. It was a nice spell. Well, it lasted that one. Yeah, you know, we really had a good run. Oh, wow. Creeping Tarpet is great here. Uh, don't care about you. Emrakul doesn't do anything for us. Yeah, we're just going to take the on color creature land. That's. One of the better ones, anyway. That infernal. I think it's fine. Damn. I was like, "What? What's the matter?" Oh, I see. It's not bad. This card is ridiculous. This place looks pretty decent, actually. Are these onion rings? What are these things? They got these milkshakes with the things around the glass. All right, maybe that's maybe that's the place. Also, consider is just good. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's a damn and consider. Smart. One word. That's my boo. One word cards. Somebody's somebody's making oofs down there. They're going oof. I actually was thinking that. Card's real good. Oh, Gala Shrine. And a bee blossom. Or is it two goblins? No. There was a white flag. Two picks ago. I think you're stroking out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I want to take the goblin shrine. Stuff burger actually looks out of control, guys. <laughs> now, Tokyo, you can, if you hurry, you can probably make it and. Uh, we could all go together. Yeah, we'll just have dinner. Bring your pug. The real one. What are these little guys? No, those are way too fried. Where's the menu for this? For this rascal. Oh, that's a don't. That's a donut burger with an egg and a bur and a bit and a bacon on it. Uh, I don't want any of these things. Just give me your give me your menu. Our menu and more. What do we got here? Nothing great. Soul Herder, do you do anything? Lauren. Yeah, he's kind of a little shit. I can see him. Teeny tiny cameras in the way. It's true. I guess Blood Chief's Thirst is actually fine. None of these cards are exciting, though. Oh, Hex Mage. Wrath of God. Spellbinder. Three white, though? Uh, what? What? <laughs> no, this is white or black. No, this is white or two. Oh. So it's two colorless or white. Oh. So if we don't have any white, it's six mana. Yeah, it's not It's not, not ideal. I'll just take this. Maybe Dark Depths comes back. That would be neat. I actually like this Gix a lot. Hello, Walls Ray. Does that mean he cursed? 
that means I, I have links disabled because I didn't want people to like spam links. Oh, this is an interesting menu here. Oh, wow. This is oh, hard. I can't to, even read This that. is hard to process. One is a fried egg and a veggie patty. Cheese curds. Oh, if they got cheese curds, I'm already in. Chipotle no, ketchup, though. Oh. No, we're going to do a little probably ranch. Jalapeno bites. Breaded and fried cream cheese jalapenos and oh, bacon. Dang it. Why you got to put bacon in there? Come on. Because there might be in the fried jalapeno. They might be mixed already. Well, we can ask. Sure. Oh, silent clearing. That's a nice little leak. That's, that's the one. That is not that's a godless not shrine. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say, but there was a white black, black lamp. You said it was a godless shrine. Maybe in a little booty hole. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. Savory, spicy. Whoa. Where can I, what can I substitute these burgers with, though? Oh, wow. You can get single, double, triple, buffalo, crispy chicken, veggie, or grilled chicken. All right. Vegan, veggie. That's it's just like max veggie. Yeah. It probably just doesn't have any dairy in it, I guess. He just got a, a new haircut today, so he's extra crispy. 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 What is this sideways card. This is, an, is, this is a battle. To? You know what I was wondering? These are all battles. And I'm wondering why it's just not called Battle of Icoria. Why aren't they called Battle instead of Invasion? Armageddon, huh? Helm, huh? We could have had High Tide and Helm as the last last couple of picks here. We got we gotta make a lot of cuts here. That's Wally. He's a good little dog. He is. He really is a good. So you can build your own. That's too much power. I don't like building my own because I feel like they've made a lot of dis decisions. When it I don't like it because, because I feel like when you have to list out things, it sounds like you're being really picky, and I get anxious that they're judging me. No, I'm pretty much used to being a picky eater, though. Oh, also, Lingering Souls with, with Yawgmoth is very good. Lingering Souls is always good. Fascinating. We actually might be a little more aggressive of a deck here. Let's spoon them. And then, um, Let's what? Spoon them. Thoon him and, and spoon him? Spoon. Like typhoon. What does the spooning them mean? Is that where we take care of them in, in bed afterwards? That's taking, that's care. That's providing care. Oh, I thought you were saying take care like. Take like care, Boyd, see you later. Like, no, like Boyd Crowder and then they die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all been watching Justified? To be fair, the one time Boyd Crowder said take care of him, he didn't mean kill him. He didn't. All right, we got like three cuts to make here. I really like Archon of Cruelty, even though I feel like this deck is going to have a bit too low of a curve for it. Yeah. Torrential Gear Hulk hits Factor Fiction and Mana Drain, and that's pretty much, and Consider, but that's pretty much it. I'd rather just have these two guys. I think he's got Archon too. I don't. I don't think I want to talk to you about that right now. I think you're being really rude. I think that you are living in a fantasy land. I have a Grimonolith. named Frank's Emporium. A fantasy. Frank's Emporium. Fantasy Emporium. No. Frank's Emporium. Colon. A fantasy site. <laughs> Dot com. A memoir. A ballad. <laughs> Available now on Amazon.com. And anywhere that books are sold. Online. And in person. <laughs> I can't anymore. This <laughs> it's gone too far. We are we the way that we are? Okay, so maybe you're right about Archon, and I don't like it, but I think it's true. Mom was always right. No, yeah. no. There's a lot of times where you are f quite incorrect, my dear. Ooh, that was good. Frank's Leporium. Lemporium? Lemporium? Why would you add an M there? Lemporium. No. Lepor? You only need the L-E. You only need the L-E. The rest we can throw out. This is Wally. I have heard that before. 
We need like one more cut. I also kind of like Jitte, and I'm wondering if I like it over Sword. I agree. This is 12 creatures, but Treachery is a creature. Shark Typhoon is a creature. Lingering Souls is a creature. Lingering Souls is four creatures. Well, we only need to draw the one, so. So that's closer to 15. Yeah, I like Jitte over Sword. Jitte? I think underdog is good, especially for being more aggressive here. Like, I like the idea of being able to blitz this guy and then equip him with a Jitte, so I don't think that's... I think this is more in line with what we want to do. Let's hit him where it hurts. In their butthole. Yeah, it's like 41. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. This is a classic Frank and Katie move. We're definitely putting one planes in this. One, two, three, four, five white sources for, like, two white cards. That seems fine. Five, six, seven, eight, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, I don't like having that many islands, though. I think this is probably fine. All right. Oh, wait, this is only 15 lands and a mox, so that's only 16. I want to get one more swamper in there. Get another swamp. Oh, yeah, then we can sacrifice uh, the Blitzed one to Yawgmoth as well. Yeah, there's a lot of cool little, a lot of cool little synergies in this deck. So cool things. We're going to do so cool things. Dr. Katie Neal. MD. VVM. DVM. DVM. MS. BS. It is a bunch of BS. It is all a bunch of BS. So sometimes I'll do like this. And... I got three different emails today that was like... Is someone pooping and or farting? Um... Uh, Wally has had some more rank. <laughs> Just, I was like, what's this smell? And he's fine. And he's right behind you, so don't crush him. Oh, he's out. He's definitely out like a light there. I've gotten three emails today about student loans starting back up. Uh, So have I, but I'm probably not going to have to pay anything for the near future also did you see the policies that are trying to get passed i don't know if they got passed or not Which ones? like the new biden stuff yeah i have to be more specific because there's been a lot of things that well there's only one new proposal beginning in 2024 those with principal balances of twelve thousand or less can have remaining balances forgiven after 10 years instead of 20 uh you'll oh, need yeah, to i'm on the save plan um Fuck ton of loans. Well, this was from August 31st. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I already checked mine today, and they said that they all rolled over appropriately into the save plan. And then if you just stay on that for 10 years. But I think I'm at that, like, weird level where we might just pay mine off. Faster than it's... Faster than with that big kid paycheck. I don't know. Uh, yes, I will keep this. This is actually great because we get to play keep up mana drain, but if we don't, we get to play fairy mastermind. So that's kind of cool, you know? Anybody ever call you little, little Frankie mastermind? No, literally no one in my life has ever called me that, and I it kind of makes me a little disappointed, you know? A little Frankie mastermind doesn't like that. Babe, thank you. Dinner. Little, little bird geese. <laughs> Frankie Mastermind Let's yield until the end step, and then we'll toss our beautiful baby, our baby fairy out there. Yeah, toss him. Out of the nest. Get out! I have you considered. Yes. Good call. Good that was call. a yes or no question. Well, then I had. Fantastic. Frankie Minor Mind. Wow. That's messed up. That's for, that's my BFF, Rob. Is he your BFF? Not anymore. I'm your BFF. Yeah, but you're the wife, so it's implied. I can have... You gotta have... B Megan is... Oh, no. Can't come between us. Really? What about Megan? You still there? <laughs> Babe, are you there? She is my work wife. My, this is my wife. My wife. My wife. My wife. Yeah, what about Megan? I feel like this is going well. 
We got a lot of instants that we can cast. What a is Megan the lady with a French husband? Yes. Megan and Neil. Oh no, they're gonna make a lot of mana here. I like his accent too. Oh god, this is gonna be wonderful if it's if it's counterable. Megan was the one where you like you were like, she has got her shit together. And I was like, yes. She sure do. Look at you doing stuff. That was five free mana. They'll never financially recover from this. None of us will. So, this is eight mana total. So we actually have enough to do everything. I want to do this to hit a land. Two, three. Yeah, give me that. Give me one of them swamps. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking Paul. Oh, actually, that has a white. No, we definitely want the lands. I mean, I got two white cards stuck in my... Oh, we can actually loot away the Lingering Souls and get... We can loot away both cards, I guess. Get them! Bye-bye. They're 11? Basically dead. Dang. We just owned them. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, see you later. Oh no. oh no! Well, that's not as bad as it could have been, I guess. You're fighting my my gentleman, huh? Boy, I sure wish I had another counter on here. Is this whenever it deals combat damage? Okay. When it draws our second card, okay. So I guess this guy's dead. Break. I can make him a four one or four three, but that doesn't do it, unfortunately. And even if we put it on the, the, the underdog, it still wouldn't have made a difference there. Hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. what? What were you thinking? You don't, don't loot the souls. Next turn, you can play it and cast it. Well, I was just going to flip this. And... What does it say? Hold on. Whenever a source deals damage to Rona, that source's controller exiles a card from their hand at random. If it's a land card, you may put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, you may cast about spending. Actually, it's not as good. Actually, they if they block here, it's actually really good for us. Yeah, that's why we want to attack here first, because then we pump this guy, he gets more counters, and then we can kill the Kogla. Taxi's blowing up the Jite. Yeah, Kogla's a real dick face. They are at eight, though. Oh, wow, that's great for us. Um, pump you. So that's five. This is a great trade. Yep, get the counters. Kill your beautiful baby ape. All right. Oh my god, don't say that. Jeez. I'm gonna get to play your land. Yeah, I'm gonna play Colonnade. Um I kinda just wanna make two flying so we can start oh we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's that. Alright. Well, we do have nothing great here. Good job, dear. Babe, thanks. Really appreciate it. Really supporting you in this whole. You really did. Thing. 
What's this guy's name? Old old gas. I don't like that. That's old old gas. Old old gas. Old old gas. You yeah, play that boy tapped. Oh no, I've got to turn one mystic. It's all downhill from here. Okay, stop talking for a second. Oh. <laughs> I paused it so I can so I can restart this. So we can get that that good magic online speed. So we can get that good speed. Man, justified characters are so good. They're all so memorable. Even even Dewey Crow, you know. Dewey didn't deserve what happened to him. Yeah, I always think that, but then I see the Heil Hitler tattoo on his neck, and I'm like, mm, maybe. <laughs> It's like, it's, they make her, they do a really good job of like making you forget these characters are like have these extremely the shitty beliefs. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's because like, I feel like that portion of their personality never comes up. Like that's not what's highlighted. Hmm. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. That's true. Actually. We're talking about the show Justified, by the way. I would get blocked. Yeah, out of context. I mean, like, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just play the doggy. Get in there, little doggy. No, he's the underdog. There's no doggy on there. I'm sorry. A doggy in the background. There's no. This is a doggy. Yeah. So there's the there's like um the show's based in Kentucky. There's like some neo Nazis on the show, but like they never really act or like go into that. Like they're just characters who have like. Tat certain tattoos and stuff, but like it's not really a part of who they are on the show. It's really interesting. Yeah, the racism doesn't. It doesn't come up. Yeah. So it's like honestly, for the most part, you just kind of ignore them, and you're like, okay, this is just part of that character, but like they don't make it a part of the story in any way. You know what? Let's get rid of your Sylvan Library. Because that card is very good. And the next time we can play Jit, equip Jit. That seems really good. Uh, this guy. Alligator. Not if I see you first, crocodile. Okay. This guy? I don't know. I can't play it because the reels always play extremely loud on my computer. He, like the volume. No, you. Ha I have to like turn my volume down to like forty percent. So weird. It's really weird for a company as big as Facebook to have that kind of issue where the volume, if you play a reel on a browser, is so much disproportionately louder than if you played it in like your phone, where it's the same volume. Check my crops now. Wow, this was abrupt. <laughs> Bye, everyone. See you in chat. Jitte seems really brutal against them right now. I kind of feel like it's intentional. Like, they're like, no. Are you okay? Oh, my God. Good gravy, woman. Hey, come on. Let's go outside. Okay, hold on. We're going back to my my original set up here. Bye, babe. It was good yeah, seeing you. Thanks. Okay. Welcome back. Give me those sweet counters. Hi, please. They have nothing on board and they're in top deck mode and they have a Gaia's crate. Okay, they're dead. All right. Well, that was a good match. 
Babe, can you take some of this trash real quick? Before you... Well, no, of course you didn't. I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying if you're of leaving. Of course I can. I'm happy to be of help. Give me that straw. Why'd you take it out? Because it was in a can and I didn't want you to throw it out. I wasn't going to throw it out. I'm not like... Oh my goodness gracious. Married life, am I right? Love you, babe. Good times. Jitte was definitely the player of the game. I will play first. Yeah, this seems good. Turn one, turn two, turn three. Everybody wins. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can only use two of the three abilities, to be fair. <laughs> As if that makes a difference. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can use the negative one, negative one, and you can use the gain life, but the plus two, plus two only affects the equipped creature, which Rob actually forgot the other day. Yeah, I agree. Palantir is fantastic. Well, that's a good one. Let's try to find a Blood Chief's Ascension, huh? Lingering Souls. Actually, that's great. Wow, that's really good. Now we can just play them. Oh, wow, that's phenomenal. That Ragavan's never doing anything. Rob forgot, huh? Yeah, you did. You tried to you tried to plus two, plus two on a creature, and you were like, oh, wait, it only works on the equip creature. My bad, I didn't know. And I was like, you know what, Robert? That's okay. I forgive you. Croxa. Yeah, get rid of a swamp here. Oh, I meant Blood Chief's Thirst. Did I say Ascension? <laughs> That's because I'm a boomer, so. You know. Oh, a Grimothy. One, two, for three, four. We can actually play Grim Monolith and then also go Jitte Equip. I think we're just playing Palantir. This is just a, a significant advantage. I don't care about the land here. I will put this guy on top, and if they want to just give it to me, that's fine. If they don't, they take two. Yep, sure. Speaking of which, I literally just got an email from the U.S. Department of Education for my student loans. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Give it a rest, man. Sweet Mana Crypt. Bomb bottom. Good times. Mana Crypt for days. Put it on a spirit. Sn wow. Snuff out, take four. Yep, you got it. Mm, put you on top and then I'll put you on top of that. They gave it to me. They were like, okay, you can have it. Okay. God, they're going to, they're going to, are they going to, are they at eight? No, they're, yeah, they're going to eight. They're at eight. 
Wow, that was a stroke happening. Oh, welcome back, babe. Oh, they took my Grimothy. Well, we're going to draw a planes for the Scarab God. Oh, no, they went to six. They were at eight. Oh, wow. Are they going to kill my spirit token? Dak Faden. Fantastic. Well, that's problematic, unfortunately. Took the Palantir instead of the Jitte. Yeah, that's a good attack. I'm just not going to take... I'm just going to take it. Uh, no. Oh, wow. I just took... I forgot that I would be taking all three. That's really not great. Uh, we're going to attack Dak here. And then we're just going to keep up Shark Typhoon. We're going to kill this guy. And we're going to gain two. They won the flip. Oh, God. Rich get richer. All right, now we can never actually have them to... Uh, Never have them not draw a card, so. <whistles> That's really good. Well, it's not great for us. Yeah, I actually wish I just let them draw a card there. That was pretty rough. I totally forgot that I would be taking, uh, what did I take? Five, six, seven, eight, 11 damage. Yeah, that's fucking brutal. Oh, uh, let them draw. Yes, please. Knock yourself out. All right, we're at one. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, Crypt. Oh, God, I keep winning the flip. I'm just going to have six here. If I wish we had a mana drain. Wow, that'd be so good. Mana drain, cast Scarab God. Get back Othari from the graveyard. Yeah, that's a whiff. All right. Just don't have any other haste creatures, you know? The deck seems really sweet. 
even though it's very, very intensive four colors. Oh, they bounced our guy. Yeah, okay. Well, we can't cast Scarab Go or can't cast Grave Titan unless we hit another black source. This silent clearing is pretty brutal for us. But they only have one card now, so they're Yeah, we're just gonna have to play this guy, I guess. And hope they don't treachery it. You know? That's what we that's what we don't want. Don't treachery it. Don't we have a treachery in our deck? Did we draft treachery? I feel like we did. Hmm. I mean, if I can untap with Scarab God, we're going to be great, but they've... That's... Yeah, that's annoying. Did they lose the flip finally? Wow. How lucky. Oh, wow. We're just getting to, to go. Is anything here? Wow. We got an instant speed solitude. Instant speed dire fleet daredevil. What does that get back? Uh, yep. You're always going to draw a card, my friend. Oh, Urtai is great. If they lose the flip, they die. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we have instant speed Urtai to like counter something. Come on, lose this flip. This would be amazing if you lose to Mana Crypt and One Ring. Never fails. <laughs> oh boy. Well, butter my biscuits. I mean, we're both. I'm at one. They're at three. This is this is pretty wild. It's pretty much I mean, any number of target. Are they evoking this? Are creatures and our planeswalkers. What did they exile? They exiled five. Wait, what? They exiled Fiery Confluence, which would have killed us, to cast Fury, which won't kill us. Wait, what? I'm very confused. Did they think this hit, this could hit a player? Okay. Now they're drawing another two cards. This is all very confusing. Wow, that was very lucky. That felt like a misclick, but God, not really. What in the earth is going on? This puts two bodies on the board. Sure. I guess it puts no bodies on the board. Wait, what? This is a token. That doesn't even, that doesn't work. None of these things you're doing work. What? Oh, man. Sure. This is a 4-4 flyer with lifelink. Do you have an answer for that? 
Yep, you can draw again, my friend. Well, I feel like I have no no reasonable reason to win this game. Does the Jitte matter here? But does anything else matter? Well, I don't want to copy the Othari. Um, let's copy. We can just copy the One Ring. It gives us protection from everything, which is pretty cool. So that like gives us an extra turn, I think. Oh, he just won the game. All right, well. <laughs> wow, what a game that was. Good gravy. Well, I'd say we could take out our artifacts, but we have a lot of them. Like, we can't just board out all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus Metamorph. Like, even though Dak Faden's kind of a pain... Yeah, I'm just gonna submit like this. That was that was pretty wild. I really had to hold on there after I paid like 13 life from a Palantir because I just forgot that it would be. I, I think I forgot that it would be on three for them. I'm like, oh, it's Palantir. It's only only a real one card. What could possibly go wrong? But then it was three, and it was like, oh, that's a significant amount more damage. Yeah, he said he's an idiot, but I'm like, dude, magic's hard. Like, I forgot you'd be milling three, and I took 13. So, like, everyone messed up, dude. Like, no, that's, that's a bummer. Oh, I got the Jitte. Well, that'll do, pig. I don't have any reason to play a Moxja, especially when they have a Dak Faden, so... Would love a white source here, though. I will also take a Gix. I've really been impressed with Gix as well. Like, surprisingly, just like giving all... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Giving all of your creatures the ability to... Um, become Phyrexian Arenas. Yeah, we're just going to run this out because you have Caracas. Um, I think I want to bottom both of these. I don't need any more lands. Took six from Shark Typhoon. Phenomenal card. Phenomenal card. If this card said, would you like to pay six life to prevent your opponent from drawing, you're going to always let them draw the card. Like. Hmm. Lingaranos. More Lingorinos. If they ever tap out for Caracas, we just get to draw four from Spirit Tokens. Uh, bottom you, top you. Sure, that's good enough to draw. Like, the fact that this card still does something if they choose not to let you draw is really sweet.
Oh, tapping off for Caracas is huge. We get to play Gix and then attack for four and then draw four. Oh, they chose not to. Dang it. <sighs> okay, so nothing would have ever worked here. Nah, that's just Wrath of God. I mean, we can just play Worm Coil Engine this turn, so. That's not legendary. And hope you don't have a Dak Phaeton. That would be really sad. Um, probably bottom top. Just keep drawing them. Hmm. I'm really worried about Dak Faden, unfortunately. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, that's actually significantly better. we can actually one two three four if we draw one land we can actually blitz this guy and murderous rider their palace jailer oh wait what we can do oh this is gonna be sick yep give me that guy back That's none of these guys are legendary. Look at me, I am the monarch now. Um Oh, let's play threat let's play Yogmoth because it actually gives us protection from from Dak Faden. Oh, he's legendary though. Shit. Ah. Yeah, that's annoying. I don't want to encounter up to one creature and draw a card. No. God, Krakus is such a beating. I can't believe I just overlooked that. Uh, let's put this on second. Uh, bottom you, top you. See if they want to go to. Oh, they just let me draw that. What else are you gonna give me? Oh, you're gonna let me draw that too. Okay. Look at me, I'm the monarch now. That's blue. Okay. That's a red. Oh, that's another white. Okay, so not... I'm, I'm like, actively afraid of deck because I have two very good artifacts that I don't want stolen. That's annoying. Man, if only I had Yawgmoth still in play, huh? Oh, that's very good, except for the fact that we have one blue. I guess we can metamorph coffee this and then just attack. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or we can just take two and then still keep up Murderous Rider, which is pretty good. One, two, three. Yeah, that seems good. I said, y'all, oh, uh, yeah, still love to play, though. Also a fan. Thanks. I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be pretty grindy. Like, our hand is stacked. We're drawing two cards a turn from the Monarchy and Palantir. Like, this is kind of an uphill battle. Good games, though. Good games. All right, so we're 2040. So I'm, um, you know. Feel like we've been doing well. Did we 3 0 our first draft? I forgot. Yes, we did because we had the sweet black white deck. Wow, can we go 6 0 today? Because that would be cool.
Babe, I'm also a fan of you as well. Sunny D. It'll burn your throw, Hoat. Remember this deck? We were like, what is this even going to happen? What is this going to happen? That's a sentence. Uh, what can this deck even do? What direction is it going? And then we end up 2 0 so far, so that's pretty good. It's pretty much all thanks to me, our good streak. Good gravy. Our head is too big. It won't fit through the door. Well, now we got two of these guys. This is actually, like, I keep being impressed by Gix. Like, I think it's really, really good. Like, if we go Fairy Mastermind on turn two into a Gix... Like, it just guarantees you a card draw. Like, I'm the biggest little shit you got. It's true. Yep, that's fine. Let's yield until the end step. Quit moving the stack. Black source. That's not a black source. Why would you do this? All right, well. Man, any any land, we had three different plays. Unfortunate. Now they're going to play like Oracle of Moldiah, and then they're going to play another land. Then they're going to tap that land and play Bird's Paradise. And it's all downhill from there. That's going to be worse. Guess they topped that, that guy. Gix works extra hard because he knows his boss is in the deck. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh, fucking Yawgmoth. That's funny. Magic lore humor is good. Oh, wow. They're going to six. They're going to five. They're going to four. Are they going to really... They're going to go to ten and then they're going to tap this... Oh, what's, what's happening? They're undoing. Okay, they've changed their mind. I don't know what's going on. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, boy. Oh, dear Jesus. Well, this game might be over. 11. Only 11. They just wanted to go to 11. Casual 11. Don't think there's a way to deal with that. They're at 7? Oh, God. Nope, oh, that's not going to do it. Alright. Well, if you're going to take bribery out, you got to take channel out too, right? I guess we're just running it back like this. I don't think we've, we saw two things, right? We saw a bunch of artifacts and we saw channel Ulamog, Talisman and Thran Dynamo. So what can we do about that? You know, and the answer is nothing. But again, like I lost to a gen degenerate combo. I have no problem with it because it happened instantaneously. And then I got to move on and play more magic, which is what I'm here to do. So it's like, that's fine. I would love to draw Mox next turn. No, I guess we're going to draw land. We need to draw land. Land would be great. Or Mox. I guess that's the same thing, right? That doesn't really matter. I was hoping we'd draw a free card so that we can play Jitte and equip it and kill this guy, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. And if we don't draw land, it's going to be even worse. But if we draw land, we can go Talisman into Jitte, which is nice. And that's the story. Oh. Wonderful. Four mana, huh? Thran Dynamo. Boy. Yield until the end step. Oh, good. We did hit a land. Hitting Jitte here, hitting, uh, getting rid of their noble hierarch, the ignoble hierarch is just not as good when they have three, four, five, six, seven mana. Oh, fantastic. They're just going to hardcast Ulmog. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, that's hilarious. All right. 
Well, I'm going to concede because I don't think we have an answer to Ulamog. We got four mana. Yep. Fantastic. Two games in a row with Ulamog. Once you channeled, once you lotused. Yep. That's pretty good. All right. Two, two, one, not too bad. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch or on YouTube, wherever you're watching this, check me out in the opposite place. If you want to subscribe, it's a really, really helpful thing to do. It's a great way to support the content and, uh, means a lot. Really appreciate you. I'll see you next time.